Good morning, everybody on Facebook. This is Reverend Lynn Laborde. I'm gonna take us through a meditation this morning, and then I'm gonna do some channeling. I'm gonna open it up to spirit and see who wants to come and visit us today. Um, I'm also live on Zoom if anybody wants to ask any questions. Um, otherwise, just enjoy. And happy Easter to everybody, um, and a blessed Passover for everybody else, and um, just sending much love to all of you. Uh-oh, there's my cat looking like he wants to go back outside. It's so cute. My mom is in the living room, and they're doing her Sunday church service, and there was a screen where the 16 members of the choir were all on the Zoom screen singing Alleluia together. It was the cutest thing. My mom's such a sweet church woman. You know, she really gave me my foundation in spirituality when I was very young. She said, you know, having a relationship with God is like planting seeds. It's going to grow a tree and the roots are going to be something that you'll be able to draw upon, uh, you know, later in your life. And she was absolutely right. The older I get, the more right my mother turns out to be. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how that, how that is. Um, hmm. My sweet friend Jean just joined us. Hi, Jean. Okay, so at this time, I invite everybody to go ahead and close your eyes. Let yourself settle into your seats as I take a swig of my water. Oh, beautiful. Just allow yourself to get present and to feel where you are. You're here and you're now. Beautiful. I'm going to ask you to start to pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to the air that comes into your nose. Feel it come in. Pause at the top for a moment and then as you exhale through your mouth, I actually want you to extend that exhale so that it's a little longer than your inhale. And you're gonna to start to move yourself towards the parasympathetic nervous system, taking you away from fight or flight and moving you into something very relaxed. Oh, how sweet. So the Zoom code is just published by my friend, uh, Jean. Thank you for doing that, Lovey. Okay. Continue to take a nice inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Another nice inhale through your nose. Breathe that air in deeply. And then as it exhales, notice how it's warmed up from the cooler breath that you brought in through your nose. Lovely. Let's do a few more of those. Take another nice inhale in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Another deep inhale through your nose. And then a nice, long, slow exhale through your mouth. automatically centers and grounds you. Beautiful. Now I want you to imagine breathing in white light. Breathe in white light through your nose. Let it fill up into your head. Let it fill your body. And then exhale any darkness through your mouth. Just a nice, long, slow exhale of darkness. Nice inhale through your nose, white light. And then exhale and take any darkness with it. Let it all just go. Darkness can be anxiety, tension, anything that's kind of got you. Take another nice inhale of white light in through your nose. Pause at the top. And then 
go ahead and exhale any darkness. Let's do another round of that. Another nice inhale, white light in. Breathe in white light. And then go ahead and exhale any darkness. Inhale white light. Exhale any darkness. Any thoughts, worries, concerns, anything that may have you be anywhere than just being here now. Beautiful. Another inhale in through your nose of white light. And then exhale and let, let release of anything other than presence. Beautiful. Now I want you to do a series of golden breaths. So imagine breathing in golden light into your nose And then exhale that same golden light. Become a golden light factory. Breathe in golden light. Exhale golden light. Beautiful. One more gorgeous inhale of golden light in through your nose. Let it fill you top of your head all the way down to your feet and exhale that golden light beautiful with your next inhale I want you to inhale that golden light into your third eye the space between your eyebrows take a nice inhale of golden light right in there and on that exhale, I actually want you to move back about two inches so that you come right into the center of your head. There's this vast cave there that's known as the Cave of Brahman. It's the seat of your soul in your physical body. Center of intuition. Home of the pituitary gland which is crystalline in structure, the only crystalline structure that we have in our physical bodies. Our gateway to the spiritual realms. On your next inhale, I want you to breathe into your chest, breathe that golden light right into your heart. And with your exhale, I want you to send a grounding cord of golden light right down to the center of Mother Earth, down, 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 down into her center. She's feeling really relieved these days. Her breathing is a lot clearer. Take another inhale while you're there. And then with that exhale, bring that golden cord right back up to your heart so you have a beautiful loop of golden light that goes from your heart, grounding down into Mother Earth, and then comes right back to your heart. Your beautiful, tender, and loving heart. Take another inhale of golden light into your heart and this time, as you exhale, I want you to open up the crown of your head and shoot that golden cord right up into the center of the heavens. Up, 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 up. Beautiful. And when you reach there and when you connect, take another inhale. And then with that exhale, bring that golden cord all the way back down, all the way through that open crown, the top of your head, bring that straight down into your heart. And so now you're this beautiful Mobius strip, this beautiful figure eight, if you will, that's vertical. So you're grounded both below and above. Feel that gorgeous grounding and your heart is the center or the nexus point, the connection point for your grounding both above and below. Gorgeous. Next, I want you to take an inhale, and with your exhale, I want you to go about eight to 10 inches above your head, and there's this beautiful golden orb of light. It's your eighth chakra, your galactic gateway, and there's this delicious, luscious 
golden energy there that's called the Mahatma energy. Take an inhale, and with that exhale, let that golden Mahatma light pour down into the open part of your head, the crown. And when it gets there, it's going to encounter this beautiful ball of gorgeous violet energy that is your crown chakra. It's also where your pineal gland is. So that golden light comes down and it soothes and it bathes your pineal gland, completely cleanses your chakra. Gorgeous. Take another inhale. And with that exhale, let that golden light pour down and it's gonna melt over your head and it's gonna come to your third eye where the cave of Brahman is. And it's gonna come across a beautiful energy ball there and the color is indigo. It's that beautiful, like deep, rich cobalt blue just midnight blue, and it's where your pituitary gland is. So let both your third eye chakra and your pituitary gland just be bathed in that gorgeous golden light of the Mahatma energy. Take another inhale. With that exhale, let that golden light continue to make its way down your head, past your mouth, into your throat. Your throat chakra has this beautiful energy there. The color is light blue, like sky blue. And the gland that's there is your thyroid gland. Let that be completely bathed and washed over with that gorgeous golden light of the Mahatma as it comes down your throat and it makes its way down to your collarbone. Take another inhale and with that exhale, let your collarbone and your shoulders and the top of your back start to get saturated with this gorgeous golden light of the Mahatma. Right there at your collarbone is another energy center. It's your high heart chakra. The color there is turquoise and it's the location of your thalamus gland. There's no coincidence that these glands in our bodies also happen to be the location of the chakra points in our body. Take another inhale. With that exhale, let that golden light now flow down your arms as it comes over your deltoids and flows down in the back over your trapezoids, over the front and your biceps. That beautiful golden light flows down to your elbows, into your forearms, makes its way down to your wrists, over your hands and then into your fingertips. Take another inhale. With that exhale, let that golden light continue to melt down over your chest as it makes its way to your beautiful, tender, and loving heart. The color of the energy center there is green, like a beautiful emerald green. Take another inhale. And in the back, that golden light has floated down over your shoulder blades. It makes its way down your back and it makes its way to your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are above your kidneys in the back and they help to regulate the serotonin level levels in the body, the stress that we may feel. Let the adrenals just be completely saturated with this beautiful golden light of the Mahatma energy. It corresponds to the solar plexus in the front of your body, which is located in the middle of your rib cage. The energy center that's there is this beautiful yellow, yellow, bright yellow light. It is the center of our personal will. It's where we find our courage. It's our power center. Take another inhale and with your exhale, Bring that golden light down over all of your digestive organs, your gallbladder, making its way down over your waist, and let it come down about two inches beneath your belly button. There's a beautiful orange energy center there. It's your sacral, your sacral chakra, your center of creativity. Take another inhale. As you exhale, bring that golden light down over your hips 
and you come to your root chakra. The energy color there is red. It's where all of your reproductive organs are, your glands, your sexual glands. And even if you've had some of those removed, the energy of them, the etheric energy of them is still there so they can absolutely receive the healing that happens as this Mahatma energy floats down your body igniting your light body within your physical body. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, let that golden light begin to flow down your thighs on top and your quads in the back. Let it completely saturate your glutes over your bottom as it begins to make its way towards your knees. And as it does, take another inhale, with your exhale, let that golden light cascade over your knees like a waterfall. Come down your shins in the front and your calves in the back, making its way down to your ankles and your phenomenal feet that have walked you through life. That golden light comes down to your ankles. Take another breath in. And with that exhale, bring that golden light down over your feet, the tops of your feet, the arch of your feet, the soles of your feet, all the way down to your sweet little toes. Take an inhale in. And with the exhale, just let yourself feel how your entire body is now tingling and activated with the golden light of the Mahatma energy flowing through your body cleansing you, lighting you up. There's a real sweetness to this, a real sense of being connected to light, to love. I invite all of you to bring your attention back up to your head. I'm gonna ask you to do something a little funny. I'm gonna ask you to imagine removing your head like you would a doll and I actually want you to place your head into your heart. So take a nice breath in. With your exhale, just put your head right into your heart. Allow yourself to feel the connection of your head and your heart together. At this time, take another inhale, and with your exhale, I want you to invite your higher self to come and join you and to stand in front of you. Feel the presence of this magnificent being. Some refer to this as the Holy Spirit. Some say it's our future selves. Some say it's our full potential selves. It is the the aspect of your soul that is with you in this incarnation, actually in all of your incarnations. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to step into your higher self. Feel the love that surrounds you, the wisdom the knowledge and the complete acceptance. Ask if your higher self has a message for you this morning. Beautiful. Take another inhale. And with your exhale, go ahead and step back out of your higher self. Feel the incredible love that's there for you. You can go ahead and take your head and you can put it back onto your shoulders. Or you can leave it in your heart if that feels really good to you. 
we're going to go visit the forest of spirit. Take a nice inhale. And then with your exhale, invite your higher self to join you. And I want you to make your way to the edge of a forest. This is the forest of spirit. This is your forest. There's a pathway down the middle of it. Take an inhale and then with your exhale, start to make your way down the path. All the trees and all the creatures love you. You come upon a clearing where there is a big, beautiful tree. And this is your tree of life. On her leaves are written the pages of your book of life, your own Akashic records. Walk up to her and embrace her. And as you wrap your arms around her trunk, feel her reach her branches down and tenderly hold you to her. Through this remarkable process of spiritual photosynthesis, she can take anything that's been weighing on your mind, weighing on your heart, any fears, any concerns, any cares, any losses that you may have experienced. Take an inhale. And with an exhale, just give them to her. She can absorb all of them for you. She has this phenomenal ability to transmute any of the energy that's been inside of you and return it back to pure white light. Take another inhale. And on this exhale, give anything to her that is darkness within you and she will transform it. Take another inhale, one more time. Surrender to her anything that's been a burden for you to hold. Anything you felt guilty for, anything you've ever felt shame about, just give it to her. She loves you and she knows you. It is the most loving, divine, feminine energy that this beloved tree holds for you. Complete and utter unconditional love and acceptance. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, she begins to remove her branches from gathering you to her. You step back and you bow to her in reverence, and you thank her. Take another inhale, and then as you exhale, continue down the path, and you're gonna come to another clearing where there is a gorgeous garden this is your garden of spirit. There's a pathway that goes right down the middle of the garden and it leads to a brick wall where there's a wooden door, golden hinges on it. Here in your garden, there's a throne where you can sit upon and come and receive guests. There's a very large bench for the guests to sit upon. There's sunlight in this garden. And then across from the bench and the throne on the other side of the pathway, there's a very large mirror, a mirror that lets you see above your head and beneath your feet. It's a huge full length mirror. Next to the mirror is a tube. It's a, a chamber, if you will made of crystal and there's a platform and when you step on the platform it's vented gold and the violet flame of Saint Germain comes shooting up and it just burns off any impurities next to the chamber is a gorgeous golden elevator that takes you to many dimensions and can actually take you up to source and you can investigate any of these features anytime you like, but at this time, we're gonna make our way over to the mirror. 
and you're going to gaze into your own eyes, the windows to the soul. Your higher self is with you, so you can invite them to go ahead and have a seat on the bench. You're going to go through the forgiveness prayer, the Ho'oponopono prayer, but you're going to do it for yourself. I always add my name at the end. And the prayer goes like this. I'm sorry, Lynn. And I let myself feel the sincerity of those words. And then I say, please forgive me, Lynn. And I let myself feel the forgiveness that I grant to myself. I then say, thank you, Lynn. Always puts a smile on my face. And then I say, I love you, Lynn. So we're going to go through this with each of you and see if you can allow yourselves to experience the grace of forgiveness to yourself and for yourself. The first line is, I'm sorry. Gaze deeply into your own eyes and apologize to yourself for whatever it may be. Any promises that you made that you didn't keep, anything you said you would do and didn't, anything you promised you wouldn't do and you did. Whatever it is, see if you can say, I'm sorry. Next, ask for forgiveness. Please forgive me. And allow yourself to feel forgiven. If you want to imagine that your higher self is on the other side, assisting you, that would be beautiful. Next, say thank you. Say thank you to yourself. Thanking yourself for granting yourself forgiveness. It's a beautiful thing to do. And then, tell yourself you love yourself. I love you. Next, I want you to make your way over to the chamber, the crystal tube. As you step onto the platform, you are immediately engulfed in the beautiful violet flame of St. Germain. Violet flame come forth, violet flame come forth, violet flame come forth. This is burning off any of the impurities that you may have gathered through your lifetime. When we make promises to ourselves and others, when those promises are kept, we actually collect white light. And when those promises are not kept, there are little husks known as clipo that collect darkness and they attach to us and they weigh us down. But when you step into this chamber and you allow the violet flame to completely engulf you, all of those attachments of darkness that have weighed you down are burned off and they're transmuted back to pure white light energy and they're given right back to God. They just shoot right up to the tube and go right back to source. Allow yourself to feel cleansed. Allow that violet flame to completely surround, embrace, and engulf you. And at one point, the flame will go out. And then as you step out of the chamber, out of the tube, back into the garden, go ahead and make your way over to the throne and have a seat. Your higher self is still with you. So invite yourself, your higher self, to have a seat on your bench that's next to your throne.
you may wonder why it's a throne. And it's because you are a divine being. A divine being that is worthy of having a throne in their own garden. At this time, invite one of your guides to come stand before you and see if they have a message for you or if they have a gift for you or if they have both. Allow yourself to receive from them. And then ask them to have a seat on your bench. My bench is made of stone. It's this long, long bench. <laughs> now I want you to invite a being that is on the other side, that's on the other side of the veil, someone who has a message for you to come forth. They may also have a gift for you, but for sure they have a message. Who is it that comes forth today? And what is it that they have to say? Thank them for being with you. Thank them for their message. And once again, ask them to have a seat at the bench. Uh, my grandmother just showed up, that was beautiful. Mm. And finally, I want you to invite a being to come forth that you may have been struggling with forgiving, someone that you feel that you've been at odds with, whether they've been upset with you or you've been upset with them or it's been mutual. Invite them to come and be here with you in your garden of spirit. And see if you can look into their eyes and see the beauty and the truth of their soul. See if you can allow yourself to let the artifice of ego fall away and let the truth be revealed. The truth of how much you love them. The truth that you ask them to be how they've been with you for the lessons that you need to learn in self-healing, for the aspects of their behavior that you need to heal within your own self. And see if you can grant them forgiveness. Beautiful. Now thank everyone who's been with you here today in your garden. Thank yourself for committing this time to meditation. And then begin to make your way back through the forest. You can come and visit your garden anytime. You can add whatever other features you'd like to it. There's some real magic behind that door. We'll get to that another day. As you make your way back past your tree, tell her that you love her. Thank her. She's always here for you, and you can come and visit her anytime. And as you make your way to the edge of the forest, you turn around and you look one more time, and you know that this is yours, and you can come and visit anytime. Take an inhale, and with your exhale, bring yourself back to the seat that you're sitting upon. You can move your fingers and your toes and bring yourself back to your body. You've been on the other side of the veil for a while. I'm going to end this portion of the meditation with a chant of Om three times. You're welcome to join me. Take a nice breath in. in.
controls the body, the breath controls the mind. If you ever want to still or quiet your breath, pay attention to it. It will help to still and quiet your mind. Chanting and toning is a beautiful way to bring you to the presence of love. And Om is the chant sound of the third eye. We live in a dualistic world where our eyes look upon things upside down and backwards. But when we close our eyes and we go within and we chant the sound of Om, we're immediately brought to the cave of Brahman, to the inner eye, the single inner eye that doesn't recognize duality but actually recognizes our own divinity. My prayer for you, may your mind always think loving thoughts. May your lips always speak loving words. And may your heart always be the heart of kindness, love, and compassion for yourself always. Namaste. When you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna see who joins us today. I'm gonna open myself up to spirit, do a little channeling. Archangel Michael is with me here today. Greetings, beloveds. We are gathered with you to announce that you have crossed a threshold. You have come to a level of ascension. You have come to a level of divinity. You have come to a level of transformation, which has ushered in a shift. Many of you have felt this energy as it has come forth. We greet you and we welcome you. You have done the work that has been called upon for each of you to raise your vibrations, to be of the light and to be of love. For this is the truth of you. The sword of truth that is carried by us allows you to cut away what is not real to cut through what has bound you, to allow you the freedom to once again take wings and fly. Your divinity is shining forth in all of you. Allow yourselves to recognize and to remember the truth of you. The truth of you are divine natures. The truth of you are your heart aspects, the source of love. There is a seed of divinity that is within each of you, and it is now upon each of you to ignite, remember, and connect with the seed of light and love that each of you possess. Call upon us, call upon the realm that are here to assist you with this ascension. And we offer our love and our congratulations for each of you stand in the light of illumination. Our blessings are and always have been and always will be for you and with you. You are of us, dear ones. Greetings. 
salutations. Wow, that was a first. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. He actually came. Uh, he actually came to me in the garden. So, <laughs> Archangel Michael. Wow. Oof, just got really, really warm. <laughs> okay, thank you all so much for being with me here today. Happy Easter. I love, love, love you. I'm here for you all. If there's anything that I can ever do to assist any of you on your journey, please reach out to me. I wish you all blessings for a magnificent day filled with love and joy and happiness. Namaste. Mwah.